Hey guys, so in this video today, we're going to be talking about my big chop. I did it. I finally did it, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so decided to big chop um, maybe, I think it was January. Yeah, it was January, so after I had my faux locks. And I just thought it was time. I just was taking out my locks and I was like, why don't I just big chop, you know? But we're just going to rewind just a little bit. Okay, so pretty much we're going to talk about uh, when I first got relaxed. Well, up until my journey up to now. Um, I do remember being natural before and it was when I was a kid. So I all I remember is Sunday mornings my mom would, you know, take me and my sister to go, you know, do our hair. Well, she would do our hair. And all I remember is me like cringing. Like I remember I had like a tender head. And I was like, oh my goodness, this cannot be real. <laughs> and I just remember it being like a tough, uh, it was like a battle, you know what I mean? I could just tell like I was fed up, my mom was fed up trying to do my hair. And man, I would be breaking combs left and right, to be honest. I don't, I don't remember a comb lasting more than at least three months in my house. <laughs> So I guess my mom decided, you know what, it's about time you get a relaxer. Yeah, so I remember getting a relaxer around eight years old or or so. And um, to be honest, it made just it just made life easier for both me and my mom um, doing my hair. So you know, I rocked with it until I was like up until like two years ago. So I thought it was easier for me. You know, you get your relaxer, you just wrap it, you take it out in the morning, you set, you good. You know, so um, I remember having a setback, though. When I was relaxed, I was maybe like 10 or so. And my hair was like starting to break off. And so my mom had to do the big chop for me back then. Man, my hair was like this short. And I felt so embarrassed. I felt so weird because I usually... Um, I had like decent amount of hair, like at least shoulder length. And when she cut it, I was like, uh, uh, I'm not trying to go to school looking like this, you know? So, um, she would put weave in my hair back to back to back. And after about maybe like a year, maybe my hair grew enough to where I could get a relaxer and it would be back to shoulder length. So, um, I guess I kind of went through that process already as far as, you know, growing up my hair, wearing protective styles, and then going back to relaxer. Until that point, until I got my relaxer again, I stayed relaxed. And my hair would reach like bra strap length. It was nice and full and healthy. I was loving my hair. <laughs> the reason why I decided to go natural was because um, my hair started to like thin out. It started thinning out like in the middle part. And I was like, yo, what in the world? <laughs> like, seriously? My mom kind of has thin hair already. So I'm like, uh, no way. If I'm going to have thin hair, I'd rather it be like natural so it can, you know, camouflage that rather than being relaxed where it's just going to be straight and stringy. And that's how my hair was getting at that point. It would start to get straight and stringy and then it would be a ponytail would be like like this this small and that's not cute that's not cute i want to have a full pony you know what i mean i tried to do the healthy hair journey for about two years nothing happened so i was like i didn't even think about going natural then to be honest because um i just i just didn't think that i could deal with it and i didn't think that i would look attractive with it but I was like, everybody else was going natural around me. And I was still like, y'all could go natural all y'all want. My hair is going to come back healthy. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. It happened. Once my sister did the big chop, I was like. So she really did it. Can I do it? You know, September 2015 is when I was like, okay, this is going to be my last relaxer. And I make sure I wrote it down so I can remember. Um, so I got my last relaxer and then I started my um, transitioning journey. Um, so I was pretty much relaxed for more than 10 years, maybe like 14 years. I was like about 7 years old up until 2022. 
And what made me go natural was my hair started thinning and I didn't think it was cute. I wanted to have healthy, long, luscious hair. And at the same time, I was like, you know what? I'm getting older. I want to know how my natural hair is because when I have a child, I'm not going to relax their hair. I would rather them make that decision when they're old enough to do so. I want them to love their hair, you know? And every time I would see these... um you know, all these girls walking around with their natural afros and things like that. I'm like, dang, y'all rocking it. Transitioning wasn't too hard for me. Then it started to become a little bit more to handle as the new growth grew. Because I was like, yo, what do I do with my hair, you know? So then... um that's when I would just do like the little halo braids, like the two braids like this all the time. And then I would still do the bun with just like a headband or something. And, um, oh, and wigs, duh. I would just clip on my wig, braid my hair down, and then, um, yeah, keep it pushing. So that's how I handled my transitioning journey. Of course, I would be taking care of my hair, doing deep conditioning and things like that um, while when I take my extensions out extensions my weave out all right guys so i'm natural and if you guys are interested in learning um you know rocking with me through this journey my ups and downs uh what works for me what doesn't please leave a comment letting me know and i would be more than willing to do so thank you guys so much for watching so at the end of this clip you guys are gonna see me cut all of my hair off yeah i really did it <laughs> all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video deuces